I wanted to do a couple of videos on some basics on using Onshape to design a Sumo robot. So in this first video, we're going to create a document and make our first part. So when you've logged into Onshape, you will see sort of this menu. This is like a Google Drive of Onshape. You see the parts you've made, the, the, the projects you've got. On the left, you can see what's been shared with you, what you've created. Uh, if you're new to this, you'll see a lot of blank space, but it's a lot of potential. So we're going to go click Create, and we're going to create a new document. I will call this SumoBot. And click OK. This will create a new workspace. Um, within this workspace, you can make sketches. You can turn that into parts. You can uh, put parts together in an assembly. Uh, you can make drawings. Uh, it can all go within one workspace. So uh, let's start off by making uh, our very first part, which for most of you will probably be your base plate, uh, your chassis, essentially, what you'll attach your wheels to, your motors to. Uh, what I'm doing here as an example is not how you have to make a sumo bot. There's a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna try to keep it simple. If I was helping somebody along in their first try, this might be where I start. So the first step is to select a plane that you're gonna draw a sketch in. Because I'm doing the bottom base plate, I'm gonna use this top plane. So I'm gonna click it and select it. And I'm gonna come up here and select sketch, create a new sketch. And what you'll see is they sort of outline uh, a rectangle that you are drawing within. I like to view my sketch from the top looking down. So I hit, I'm going to hit the N button. That'll help me view it from above. Okay. So within this, I now have all my sketch tools along the top. And I've got my little sketch uh, dialog box here, which you want to kind of shows you what sketch you're working on um, and what plane you're working in. If you want to rename the sketch, we'll call this Sumo Bot Chassis. And you can do that later. You'll be able to come back and find that. All right, so I'm going to make a, uh, a chassis. I'm going to go ahead and use a center point rectangle. So within the rectangle tools, I'm going to select my center point rectangle. I'm going to put it centered right here on the origin. So I'm going to click. I'm going to drag it out and click. If I want to set dimensions on this, I can grab my dimension tool up here. There's also a shortcut uh, by pressing D. I'm going to click the dimension tool. I'm going to make mine... I'm going to make mine 19 centimeters wide, and I'm going to make it 19 centimeters tall. The size limits on Sumo Bots is 20 centimeters, but it's kind of risky to put it all the way to uh, 20 because um, if you're slightly too big, if you cut this slightly wrong, or if you've got a screw or bolt head sticking out, uh, then you're going to be in violation of the rules. You're going to have to uh, sand it down, which is not going to be fun. Now, you will notice that after I did that, uh, it shows my dimensions at 7.48. Those are in inches. I have my uh, workspace defined in inches, so that's why it converted it. If you want to see everything in centimeters for this project, that would make a lot of sense. I believe you can change that by coming up here, going to Document Properties or Workspace Units. Just, I'm going to go to Workspace Units here, and I'm going to change the Workspace Units to centimeters and click the green checkbox. Uh, Oh, that took me out of my uh, sketch. So if I want to go back into that sketch, uh, assume about chassis, I'm going to double click in here. And you'll see now they say 19. All right, so 19 centimeters by 19 centimeters. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little cutouts for my wheels. I'm going to probably have my motors uh, in here in the center with wheels kind of here on the edge. Um, you could have the wheels sticking out if you wanted. I'm going to cut away at that part to have my wheels sort of hidden. Uh, this is a choice you can make, uh, whichever one you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another rectangle, and I'm going to go ahead and draw it right here. This is going to be the space where I cut away from my uh, cut away from my wheels. I'm going to make them uh, the same size, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to take this center point. I'm going to drag over here so you can see it's going to be at the same height. I'm going to click. And I want it to actually be the same height there, so you can see if I go to the right height, it will snap to that height there. I'm going to also make it touching this edge here. There we go. Uh, I want them to be an equal width as well, so I'm going to click the equal sign, and I'm going to say that this top edge here has to have an equal length to this top edge here. All right. And I'm going to put a couple dimensions in here. So dimensions, let's say that this right here is going to be three centimeters deep. And let's say I'm going to use about a two-inch wheel. With a, a two-inch wheel is about five centimeters. So I'm going to give myself six centimeters here to have plenty of space for my wheel. 
Okay. With something that's fully constrained, fully defined in its dimensions, uh, then it will turn black. So I still have some blue space here. If I'm unsure why it's still blue, if I press escape and I deselect any tools I have, I have the dimension tool, now I don't. If I grab any of those blue parts and try to drag them, it's not doing it, let's try again. Oh, there we go. You can start to see in what ways there's not a rule. So there's not a rule that defines how far up and down this space needs to be. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to redimension it. And I'm going to say that from the bottom to the top, it needs to be two centimeters away. All right. So now I've got a fully uh, dimension, fully defined sketch. When I'm done, I'm going to click this green check mark to save that sketch. And now if I pan uh, I'm panning with a double click, but if you have a, uh, a mouse, you can do a right click. Uh, and I'm going to select that sketch area that I want to extrude right here. I don't want to extrude these empty cutout spaces. I'm going to come up here to the extrude command and click it. Now, one thing you have to do as you make things in CAD is you have to think about how things will be made. If it's 3D printed, uh, then, you know, the dimensions are kind of up to you, but you need to worry about things like overhang. If you're cutting this from, let's say, a sheet of HDPE plastic, then you need to ask yourself, how thick is that sheet? So I've got quarter inch thick HDPE. I've got three eighth inch HDPE. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a three eighth inch thickness. So I'm just going to go right here. This is a new uh, part. I'm making it solid. I'm blindly extruding it for three eighths of an inch. Okay, because my default units are centimeters, I can't put three eighths, otherwise it'll think centimeters. So, but if I put inch, it'll know I meant inch. I'll press enter and then hit the green check mark. And there we are, that's my very first part. I've created my first part uh, for my Sumo bot. All right, well, look for the next video where we start creating more parts uh, in relation to this and where we eventually start uh, putting our Sumo bot together digitally.